people generally over exaggerate their abilities i think mainly because they don't know what they don't know so yeah oh my god that's such a good point average joe i completely agree i think that most people that play poker like have like more of a kitchen table mentality and think oh like in you know with the people i play i'm, I'm pretty good but i really think if you look at like the scope of anything right um i mean the difference between pros is very small but if you look at the scope of anything if this is like let's say uh doesn't know rules and this is honor 1b if you look at this line and let's say okay um let's say you have friends kitchen table right like let's say connor won b and i think like winning poker players starts if this is the scope of poker i think generally winning poker players starts maybe here like to where you could do it professionally and this this could be this this could be here like i'm not kidding like let's say it puts it here i think that people that play only on kitchen tables against their friends and play among friends right that's here and then you get people that play with strangers sometimes you quickly you quickly go towards here right let's say people who play tournaments online by themselves might be here tough fun players obviously get here this this location this is probably like tough fun players people who play a lot like high roller fun players for instance they don't make money but they're super tough to play against so this is like this is high roller fun players then over here this part is fun players who play super aggressive then over here you have fun players who like to watch like poker strategy stuff for instance like i think that recreationals who watch poker strategy shit are less hard to play against than aggressive fun players but still they know more right and then this is like i think this scope this part this is like um this is people that uh play poker online quite a bit that's here this is kitchen table poker the people here think they're over here this is just like 100 percent people that play here think they're here right on the cusp if i wanted to i could get better and that's fine like it doesn't fucking matter where you are like there's tons of stuff that i like doing where i'm like flat out here like Valorant. This, this is me at Valorant. Right? So. This is me at Dota. <laughs> so. People just think they're way further down the line than they are. And this is why it's ridiculous. Because let's say Twitch chat is. Let's say 80%, right? Because there's winning players in Twitch chat. There's people who study a lot. But 80%. So let's say chat pros. Because chat pros. I do think that the people that are generally better at poker also mix more in the communities on Twitch because they're more involved with poker and they want to get poker to a deeper level, right? People that use poker as an entertainment form um, is different. I would say that Twitch, Twitch chat is this, this. And I think that this part is the vocal majority of that. And the distance from this part being in this this zone to criticize somebody like where let's say I'm dead center or whatever. Let's say I'm somewhere there. For people here to criticize. If you look at the scope of things, let me see. If you look at the scope of things, somebody who's here is this far away from Connor while I'm there. You see what I mean? And he's like the best or whatever, right? So the difference between chat pros and fun players and me, and this is me and 
an Omega Reg. This is just, just because this is so much fucking work to go through that. This took me 16 years. I mean, in all fairness, like, I, I, was, I was over here at one point in my career, right? So I was at that spot in my career. And it didn't take me 16 years. But it just shows you, like, the crazy scope. If you look at it on a scope like that, it's so insane that somebody that's over here looks at somebody something that somebody over here is doing and thinks, oh no, that's bad. No, that's fucking bad. And that's exactly why people stay here. The people that are like, huh, interesting, whoop, get there. The people that are here and think for this, oh, interesting, they go over here. And it's not just like what they see people do all the way over here, right? It's also... I mean, this, this is really important. I think that, like, putting it visually helps you guys as well. It's also, it's not just, like, what, what does this person do? It's also when you're over here and you look at what somebody here does. Don't brush it off as somebody being a moron or something, you know? And when you get to this point in the scale, how do you look at somebody that does here? If you Or at the same level. If you can keep an open mind, you advance. You advance. You advance. You advance. You're curious. You're open. You want to know more about that spot. That's how you fucking advance and go down the line. If you are at this point where you're still... Listen, I'm super happy that you love poker and all that shit. But if you're at that point, you're super recreational at something and you're not good. Simple as that. If you're at this point and you're criticizing other shit and you're not open to learn, you will be at this point your whole fucking poker life. And that's why I think it's such an important thing to ram home to you guys, because I hear it all the time. I've seen this my entire career, and it's very important to make fucking jumps. And you will not be jumping if you're not curious and open to other shit. Because if you look at the scope, if you look at the scope of where I am, if you look at the scope of where I am, if I'm here and I see something somebody from somebody there or here, and these differences are super technical, right? Like these are little things. Or I see, or even here, somebody that's over here that does something that I think, oh, what? Maybe this fucking guy is on his way to become the next Connor. Who the fuck knows, you know? That's all I'm saying. And I think that's super important.